So we're going to continue to improve our 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 design here. You know, try to get our flight time over one second. This is a currently this flight time is not over a second. So I if I look at my optimizations, I can see I've got some improvements that I need to do. Just looking at my uh, airplane, I noticed that that it's really it has a really large fuselage, which I probably can improve. Um, if I if I look at it from the top, <clears throat> I notice my wing is probably a little small um, relative to the um, uh, overall size. I feel like a larger wing might help bring up my lift, which is one of the things I need to work on. Um, my center of gravity and center of the yeah, neutral point look pretty good right now. <clears throat> um, there's, a, there's another optimization with the distance between the neutral point and the center of gravity. It's supposed to be about an inch or 25 millimeters. Um, and that currently um, looks pretty good. Um, it's 20 millimeters. That's known as the static margin. We'll talk about that a little more later. Um, so first thing I think I want to do is try to improve um, just my yaw optimization. That doesn't seem <clears throat> to be very good. Um, my horizontal stabilizer could be improved, but I'm, I am planning to make my wing bigger. So remember there's a ratio uh, between the wing and the horizontal stabilizer in the area where the horizontal stabilizer is one sixth to eighth. Uh, so if I go and make my horizontal stabilizer smaller right now, <clears throat> that's not gonna be something that's gonna be permanent. I'll be changing that later. So let's look at yaw in the research. <clears throat> so in, in the research, we we see that their um, yaw again is, is how the plane will, will change its course in the horizontal plane. <clears throat> so uh, that has to do with the tail um, or the vertical stabilizer. So there's a good rule of thumb. The tail should be half to a third the surface area of the horizontal stabilizer. Um, so if we look at ours, <clears throat> our yaw optimization is uh, <clears throat> we're we're roughly within that um, third. Uh, they, the fin is the vertical stabilizer, <clears throat> so it's but it's I'm sorry, it's a quarter. We're about a quarter right now. So we let's bring it closer to a third to a half by increasing the size of that. So let's go ahead and optimize our vertical stabilizer. <clears throat> Um, and let's just make it a little bit bigger and see if we can improve that. So there we go. Um, there we're now we're now we're in that third to half area, <clears throat> half to a third. So I'm happy I'm happier about that. And let's see what that did to our optimization. There, yaw is coming up. That's good. <clears throat> so I'm I'm happier with that. So let's now let's look at roll. Our roll is really low as well. Um, so what's causing that? Um, I'm going to finish these. Um, and let's go look at roll optimization. So roll is, is how our plane is going to, uh, I guess, tip left to right <clears throat> during flight. And um, the thing they talk about here is a wing that has dihedral, which means it's not flat. It's it's bent in, in a way. So a uh, straight dihedral um, wing tips are helpful uh, and there's also this polyhedral. So um, this explains how it improves your flight. You can go through this uh, and uh, we can add some dihedral or polyhedral in our wing. <clears throat> um, I'm going to add a polyhedral and I'll apply that. <clears throat> and notice I have some options for where my wing bends. Um, and my size has also uh, increased. So um, I'm going to apply that again. And let's just look at our optimization without this showing. <clears throat> OK, it looks I think our roll got a slightly improved roll on that. Um, and everything else looks good. So um, let's. I, I, Let's, let's look at drag a little bit. Um, we're going to cycle a little bit here so we can see what might be causing that. 
So drag is caused by any surface that's exposed to the wind. So anything we can reduce um, where we have less surface area is going to reduce drag. If we look in research on drag, <clears throat> um, uh, drag is caused by, like we learned in rockets, the shape of things. Uh, and <clears throat> Uh, smoother, and also the surface, so the smoother surface uh, will have um, lower drag. There's another thing about drag which is induced, and that's due to the shape of our um, aircraft. So uh, we can taper around the edges of our wingtips. So there's ways to do that uh, very, that are very simple. <clears throat> so if we look at our wing, um, we can change the shape to from a square to a, a kind of rounded that should help our drag slightly there it's really improved our drag <clears throat> so we've rounded the tips of our wings just that um, has helped and then we can sand it um, we can add a heavy sand uh, it doesn't seem like it's changing all that much since our drag is completely maximized here so um, the B-spline wing pro profile is what that was called. All right, um, so let's just see uh, how we're doing on our, um, some of our other optimizations. And okay, looking a lot better. So weight and lift seem to come, come up now as something we should work on. I'm just noticing how big my fuselage is. Getting rid of that is going to reduce some weight, a lot of weight, uh, making that smaller. So let's just look at our fuselage, um, and we can change the length and height of that fuselage. So 13 millimeters. Um, let's try bringing it down to maybe around half of that. See what happens. Now I have to check our specs to see if, to make sure as we change these, <clears throat> we can. Uh, Okay, so we lost some of our, our yaw, um, probably because the fuselage itself was acting as a tail. So we're going to have to look at what's going on with our yaw. But um, we did reduce a lot of mass, uh, <clears throat> and we've um, reduced, yeah, reduced the mass. So let's look at our, our specifications, see where we're at with specifications. <clears throat> oh, we're good. So, um, okay, the span and the true length are often things that you run into when you change your wing. Uh, so we are pretty close, um, but now since we have a polyhedral wing, um, we have this true length, which means if you take your wing with all of its bends and flatten it out, that's how long it is. If we go back to our research and look at our design challenge, we can, we can see what they mean by wingspan and wing true length is when they take all those segments and flatten them out. So we need to bring our true length down by I think about six millimeters. So we'll just go to our wings design and we'll bring this down. If I bring it down, remember it's not flat, so it's gonna be a little bit more than six. So if we bring it down three, only 151, two, three, you can see what numbers it's changing. We'll try that. Uh, and Let's do some changes here. <clears throat> so apply this. Um, all right, let's. I think it applied it already. And let's go over here to our outputs and see how we're doing on spec. <clears throat> okay. Yep. I got. I got it in spec by just about uh, two and a half millimeters. So that's good. Okay. I've done a bunch of changes. I didn't save an entry competition because I'm really just trying to optimize before I actually do my my trials and concepts and try to improve my flight time. So you don't have to save your concepts very rapidly when you're doing this initial stage of, of tweaking because you've got to get over a second before you have um, enough, uh, before you can start to improve things. So let's go see where we're at for flight time. So we're going to go back to our engineering. Uh, we're going to file. We're going to save and enter competition. Um, but you can type some notes um, on one second. I can't type today. One second. <clears throat> and 
So this is telling me I've got it into spec. So save and enter competition. <clears throat> and at this point, I go right to your outputs, your journal, and your engineering logs. Oh, look at that. Woohoo! We are at 2.72 seconds. So if you click on that, get the yellow dot on there, you can see in your inspect, we can see our notes. If we forgot to put a note in, we can, we can add something here and save it. All right, so you successfully uh, got your plane to uh, fly over a second. Now, any changes you make, you can see if it, if it improves or does not improve. You're going to want to have three inspect changes that improve. So it's okay if you have some that don't improve in between those. That's fine. Just make sure you're saving and entering competition. <clears throat> and uh, if you do drop your, your next one, you maybe re revert your changes by, by changing them back and then try and get those improvements. Um, again, you can have as many revisions as you want, but just work on those improvements. I'll stop this video for, for now, but um, that should get you through your next step, all right? There'll be other videos coming with more uh, improvements.